Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Sally Pinto and I'm from the Yonkers North, neighborhood naturally occurring retirement community. We launched back in January of 2020 and we're here to serve seniors 60 plus in Northeast Yonkers. We have lots of fun programs and activities and we also have a lot of resources for you as well. Our programs include meditation chair yoga, uh, body mind fitness, bingo, and any other programs that you might be interested in, like arts and gardening. We have our resource specialist, Alexa Smith, who can help you with finding services and activities out there for you, as well as our nurse, Barbara Simone, who can help answer your health-related questions. We're here for you, we're here for our community, and we look forward to seeing you in our programs. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. I'm Alexa Smith, the resource specialist with the Yonkers Mark. I'm here to help with application assistance, referrals for home delivered meals, and transportation services will be coming soon. We also um, offer Zoom activities and Zoom programs. And if you have any other questions or concerns, I'm here to help. Thank you so much and enjoy the program. Welcome, I'm Barbara Simone, registered nurse. I recently retired from Westchester County's health department as a public health nurse. I am now here to try to assist you with any medical, or preventive care issues. Enjoy this program and I'm looking forward to working with you. Good morning, everybody. What a gift, as I always say, to be here. Certainly uh, Wednesday mornings for me when I get to hop on with you is, is a blessing for me. I love hopping on early uh, with Z and Sally and, and chatting with them for a bit. What, what beautiful communities we have that we're making do with what we have, getting together, and most importantly, that you're starting off your day uh, with a bit of generosity, compassion, love towards yourself. So you could bring that generosity and compassion, love out into the world. That's the goal here for me to get me feeling my best, to get you feeling your best. So we could go about our day joyfully, lovingly, gently, generously. That's my goal. That's why I'm here. That's what I'm doing. And I love being with all of you. So just as a review, if you've been with me and or Carl before, I certainly try to build off a lot of what coach Carl does. Uh, I have a few of my own takes and styles, I think. So if you've been with me before, you know some of my basics. If you haven't been with me before, here's a little rundown on what I hope for you to be thinking about today. First is adaptability. The goal of these movements is for you to feel comfortable and happy and engaged. These should be energizing movements. These should be movements that make you feel good. So I'll give you uh, very often throughout the workout options on how you could adapt particular movements, ways to make them a little bit easier, what you could try, where you could push yourself. But for you, if anything's feeling uncomfortable, something feels a little tight, if something's just not quite feeling right, that's a time to stop, take a deep breath, get back to good posture, and then to jump back into a version of the movement that feels good and right for you. So adaptability. Uh, gentleness goes right in line with that. Gentleness towards our body. There's so often such a misconception, I think, about uh, working out and exercising that it's supposed to be about intensity and grinding and pain and you gotta suffer for it to be real. Uh, and listen, I, I was a rugby player for many years. I like an intense workout, but your body tells you when that intensity is right, when it's the right moment to push yourself. And you'll know that moment when it comes. But up until that moment, gentleness for me is the name of the game. What's making my body feel good and happy and healthy? Uh, with that in mind, building right off of that, mindfulness is the next one. Uh, throughout these movements, I hope for you to be doing what I just sort of refer to as a body check or a body scan. What's going on in these movements? What parts of the movement feel good and fluid and natural and healthy? What parts of the movement might feel a little tight, constrained? There's a, there's a stress there in the body. Just paying attention to it. Don't need to judge it. Don't need to fix it or stop it or whatever. Just, oh, okay, my hamstring's a little tight there, or the knee's not feeling great today. That awareness will go miles for us. And so throughout these movements, the last two little things I hope for you to try to do throughout is good, deep breathing, breathing in through your nose, allowing your stomach to expand on your in-breath, and you could breathe gently out of your mouth is a good breathing rhythm. And then smiling throughout. The simple act of smiling, as I'll be writing, reminding you throughout, is to remind you that these movements are joyful and fun, or they hope to be. 
And to remind, uh, and also just on a bio uh, physical level, that just releases a lot of good endorphins and all the good good stuff going on in our body that smiling allows us to do. So that's what we're gonna do. Our basic setup today, we'll start off with some stretching. We'll move into the real meat of the workout, which is uh, the Tabata section. Uh, Coach Carl and I love Tabata, which is a two to one work to rest ratio. So we'll work on a set for 40 seconds and then we'll rest for 20 seconds. And I'll give you those times you work as best you can in the time when I'm asking you to work always willing to take a break and take a breath if you need um, And then we'll finish with a meditation. And I'm gonna do a different kind of meditation today, a reflection meditation. And oh, as always, as uh, Sally and Z mentioned, water, uh, key to life here. And then, yeah, if you're looking to add a little weight ever to your workout, two of the same sized items, two little water bottles, two, two cans of soup or whatever, as you're moving about the movements, little way to add weight and will uh, help to in increase the intensity of the workout if you're looking for that. But adaptability and gentleness are those keys. So whatever's best for you today. So with that, we'll get into just a little warm up, try to get the blood flowing and just get our heart rate going. And what we'll do is we'll start from the ground and build up. So I'd like you sitting towards sort of the front of your chair over here. Good posture, chest up. Uh, core supporting my upper body, feet flat on the floor, good angles, 90 degree angles in my knees, my ankles. And what we're gonna do is, I want you to bring your attention down to your heels. We're just gonna do, I'll move back a little bit. We're just gonna do heel slides. So trying to keep your feet flat on the floor, just reach your right leg out as far as it could go. Little slide to the front, gentle, slow movement. Just sliding that foot in and out. We're just getting the body warmed up. If you're on sort of a carpet or something and there's a little too much friction, you could just lift it gently off the floor and let it glide along. But the hope is that we're keeping our foot uh, sort of flat in this movement. Nice and slow and gentle. Just getting warmed up. Good posture, good breathing, good smile throughout on all this. I'm gonna keep saying that all day mindfulness throughout the movement. Let's switch over to our left leg, feet flat on the floor, left heel coming out, just directly out in front of you. Foot staying flat on the floor. One of the difficulties I would say for me on Zoom is I can sort of get a sense of how you guys are reacting, what speed you're going at. But as I was thinking about it this morning, there's sort of a gift uh, to that, which is you get to feel out your own pace. What's the pace of this movement that feels good to you, that feels comfortable, that feels like it's getting you warmed up? Let's switch now. We're going to go out to the side. So sitting towards the front of that chair, heel flat on the floor. Just get it going out to the right, wherever you could get it. Wherever it goes to, that feels comfortable. Not trying to compensate with this, you know, we could there's versions of this movement where you could sort of really stretch to the side. We're not trying to do that. The rest of the body's trying to stay still. Just the movement from the foot sliding out to the right. Nice slow pace. We're just getting warmed up, just getting moving. Let's switch over to that left leg, going out to the left. Excellent job, guys. Now, hopefully in that, your foot was sort of close to or flat on the floor. Now we're just gonna do taps. So we're gonna go right leg tap to the front, right leg tap to the right. And then we'll just go back and forth on that right side for a bit. So sitting towards the front of our chair. Now you're just tapping out with your toes. Okay, a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more movement to this, tapping out with your toes. So not sliding so much, just a little tap. I don't know if you can see my uh, foot too well in terms of what I mean by a tap, but I'm actually lifting my foot up off the floor on this one and sort of doing a bigger reach out with the tap. Tapping just with my big toe. Excellent guys, and now let's move to the left leg on that. So tap out front, a little touch out front, touch out to the side. Let me move my water. A little touch out front, tap to the side. So 
move in slow if you need to. If the movement's just here for you today and you need to just get comfortable out there and then move back to the center, that's fine. What pace is good for you? What range of motion is good for you? Those are the questions that you're thinking about as you're scanning your body, paying attention to your body, paying attention to your breath. Excellent, let's pause on that guys. We're gonna do a little leg extension up and then we're just gonna do windshield wipers with our ankles. So wherever, so I'm just sort of rotating my ankle and leg around in a circle. Uh, let me see if, so something like that, if you could see, I know my black clothes were maybe blurring together. Just turning your leg over right, left at the ankle. You could always be supporting yourself on your chair. And let's go over to the left leg. Good extension out. And now just little windshield wiper with your ankle. The range of motion might be tight on here. This is warming up the hip, getting both the, what's called the external rotation of the hip and the internal rotation of the hip warming up wherever you could get to. It might be a very little motion to start the day here. Excellent, guys. Pause there, moving up through our body. So moving up from the floor, uh, from, the, from our feet to our heads to do the warm up. We're gonna warm up the midsection a bit now. So I just want us bringing our arm, arms up overhead. If you can sort of have them clap together, that would be great. If the flexibility is not there, and your palms are facing out, that's fine with me on this, but the optimal movement is to have our hands clap together. And we're just gonna do a gentle bend over to our right side. It's a gentle bend, just feeling the stretch through here. You guys are keeping those uh, hands clapped together if you can. We wanna be supporting our body with our glutes. Good posture through this. You don't wanna bend over. The temptation might be to bend forward. We want to be staying with our body sort of uh, a nice perpendicular to the ground. A good time to increase the stretch is on your exhale. So as you exhale to get a little bit deeper into the stretch, that's great. Your biceps should be close to your ears on this. Good stretch in the side, returning back to center, letting the arms fall gently and always in between everything. We could always sort of shake it out. Take a deep breath, get loose, uh, take a drink of water, whatever you need to do in between these movements to feel good for the next one. We're gonna go to the other side now. So reaching up nice and confidently overhead, we're going over to the left. Okay, so my stretch for me just starts right here. Not too big, still early for me, I'm still getting warmed up. But as I take a nice, good, slow, gentle breath, as I exhale, I go a little bit deeper into that stretch. Remember good upright chest, the tendency might be to slump over a little bit, keeping your back engaged. Good, and let's return to center, letting the arms fall gently to the side, back to center. We've warmed up our midsection, that even got our shoulders going a little bit, hopefully. And so uh, now we're gonna just get our neck uh, as the final thing to warm us up here. So let's just start doing some gentle looks to the right, looks to the left. We'll look up and we'll look down. Gentle, uh, simple movement. Just a gentle look over your right shoulder and let's keep going to that right side. Does not need to be a vigorous or stressful movement. Just look to where you can and try not to use uh, your body, your chest, you know, your, your midsection to compensate. It's possible to, to turn around, but that's not what we're doing here with, with your midsection. We're just focusing on our neck. So that's where the focus is. And we're just looking over our right shoulder. And let's go to the left now, folks. Over to the left side. Gentle look left. Chest is saying upright, core is solid and engaged. Excellent, guys. Now we're gonna look up. So just looking up, 
same thing. We don't want to bend at the back. We don't want to overextend ourselves and lean back. That's not what we're doing. Movement coming from the neck, good solid core, looking up to where we can. Good, and now let's uh, look down to the floor. Same cues, guys, good posture, chest up and out, back engaged, and as always, good breathing, good smile. Excellent, guys, wonderful. That's our warm up. Good uh, warm up any morning of the week, really. Uh, I've loved recently being more attentive to my morning uh, wake up routine. I like to work out at night personally uh, for, for my sort of personal workouts, but I love doing a 10 to 15 minute body check warm up in the mornings. You can certainly use what we did here this morning, any day of the week, that's a good way to start your day. We're gonna get more into the, the, the main focus of our workout here, which as I explained before, and if you've been with us before, is the Tabata method. Very basic concept. It was just discovered that uh, I think by a Japanese um, uh, sports um, medicine practitioner who just realized that a two to one work ratio, work to rest ratio is really great for getting the cardiovascular system going, getting the body really working. So we're gonna do 40 seconds of an exercise and 20 seconds of rest. I'll give you those intervals. You just try to work out for the 40 seconds and rest well in the 20 seconds. Take good breaths, smile, get a drink of water. The rest is active rest. We wanna be focusing on how to rest, uh, rest well in our lives. So for our seated good mornings, uh, sorry, seated, um, uh, seated Tabata, we're gonna start off with a good morning yawn movement I've done before. I'll give you more tips as we go through, but this will be the first moment movement, nice circular motion there. Our next exercise is just gonna be single leg kicks. Okay, good squeeze at the top. Then we're gonna imagine we're doing pull downs. So we're gonna pull the weight down. Okay, that's our third exercise. I'll give you more cues as we go through. Fourth exercise will be calf raises. Just coming up on the tips of our uh, toes here uh, from a seated position. And last will be alternating overhead press. Okay, so a reverse of the pull down. Those are our five movements. I'm sure you guys are looking great out there. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Our first exercise will be a uh, good morning yawn. So good posture, sitting upright and alert. This is just the classic movement sort of I do in the morning. Coming up through, palms facing my face, reaching out, pushing out to the side. Okay, nice circular flow movement. Think about this as being more part of the workout. Just good posture, good breath. And we're starting in on our 40 seconds here together. Okay, push out to the side, palms facing your face as you come up through the center of your body. You should feel this all over your shoulders, opening up your chest. Breathe with the movement, feel this movement, opening your chest, opening your lungs. Five more seconds on this guys. And we'll pause for 20 and three, two, one. Excellent. So good active rest now. Our next move will be pull downs. Starting with our hands up overhead. I got my fists clenched. Really imagine that I'm pulling down uh, the weight. So we don't have a weight we're actually pulling down, but you should feel uh, a good squeeze in your lats, good squeeze in your back. You're, imagine pulling that weight down. Good time to have some water bottles in your hands if you want. We're gonna do pull downs. We'll do alternating, so one arm at a time, starting in three, two, one. So alternating pull downs, your arms are staying up in the air in between the not working arm, and then good squeeze down, feeling it through your lats and your back, imagining you're pulling a weight down. It's possible to activate your muscles with your mind as if you're lifting a heavy weight. And that's what we're trying to do here is to pull that weight down. But we're also working on keeping our arms overhead in the, which is its own sort of workout for me. I'm already feeling my shoulders getting a little, uh, little happy. And we'll work on this for three, two, one. Good. 
I'm gonna put my weights down. You can certainly hold them throughout the workout if you like, uh, if that's good for you. Just gets the fingers, the wrist mobility all working. That's a great way to add some intensity. We're doing, after our rest, calf raises. Very simple guys, just coming up on our toes. Good squeeze through the whole of the calf. You should really feel that through the whole of your calf. And we'll get started on that 40 seconds of work in three, two, one. So we're just coming up on our tippy toes. Very simple movement, guys. But I was just reading a study the other day that, that made me think of incorporating this. There's a correlation, not a causation, and not getting into too much medical stuff here. I'm certainly not a, not a doctor, but I read about a correlation between calf size and the, the strength of your calf muscles and heart health. The study described your calf as sort of a second heart. Your heart moves the, the blood around your body. Those big, strong calf muscles are part of what pushes it back up. So good connection between calf strength and heart health. So I figured we'd incorporate that as a little movement today. And we'll work for three, two, one. Opposite of the movement we did before, we're sort of working uh, pairs today with our upper body. We're gonna do alternating overhead press. So our arms will be down um, in the lock position down here and we'll do alternating overhead press. Okay, so we'll start in on that in three, two, one. Alternating overhead press guys, good posture, good breathing, big smiles. You should feel your upper back engaged on this, your shoulders, your chest a bit, your triceps, but always being aware of how are my feet feeling right now? Are they flat on the floor? How are my glutes feeling? Is that supporting my body? How is my core feeling? Does it feel like it's facing forward and in a good posture? Those are all what I mean by sort of a body check. How is your body feeling as a whole right now? And we'll pause in three, two, one. Excellent work, guys. That's our first set of Tabata. We'll definitely breathe for a few seconds here. I encourage you, big drink of water. Big smile, big deep breaths. We're gonna do one more set of seated Tabata. Those are the movements. Feel free to sort of push yourself a little bit, make the movement a little bit more vigorous if you're feeling warmed up. But as I said at the beginning, gentleness and adaptability. Where's your body? What is your body ready for? Is it ready to push a little bit? Then do that. Is it ready to just sort of sit and, and relax in these movements a bit more? Is that where you're at today? That's great. Your body should be telling you uh, what kind of a workout, what level of intensity you're ready for today. As with most things in life, it's okay to have days where you're feeling a bit stronger, a bit more vigorous and days where, oh, this is more of a rest day. This is more of a relaxation day that is perfectly healthy and good. And we can all be kind to ourselves to allow ourselves to have those days. So second set of seated Tabata, do that good morning yawn movement, uh, starting in three, two, one. Palms facing the face as you come up through the center of the body, pushing out to the side. You can imagine you're pushing away any stress, any fear, and you're bringing in love and joy and gentleness and compassion into your body. Feel the whole shoulder warming up, the chest, the back. And we'll work on this guys for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, 20 seconds of rest guys. Next up is single leg kick. Just a strong uh, squeeze with the quad. Uh, did we skip those? We might've skipped those last time. I apologize if we might've might have skipped that, but we're doing single leg kicks now. Three seconds of work, um, good squeeze in the quad and we'll alternate legs. Uh, so we'll begin on that in three, two, one. Good squeeze, toe pointing up to the sky and we'll alternate legs. Squeeze in the quad. You should feel stretched in the hamstring and the calf a bit. Toe pointing nice and strong up to the sky. 
good posture, midsection core is supporting my upper body, chest is out, uh, open, we're not trying not to be slumped over. But getting to wherever you could get to. If the leg doesn't quite get out all the way to a full squeeze, if that's where you're getting to today, that's fine with me. But if you're able to get it to a full squeeze and toe pointing up to the sky, that's what we're reaching for. And we'll pause on this in three, two, one. Excellent work, guys. Next up is our pull down. So our arms are gonna be extended overhead. And we're gonna be imagining pulling a weight down. If, if you ever enjoyed working out in a gym, this is like that pull down machine you see a lot of people doing. It's usually got a cable and there's a stack of weight. We're imagining we're sort of doing that, that we're pulling a weight down. So let's get our arms up overhead and we'll start together in three, two, one. We're alternating sides keeping the uh, not working arm extended overhead and pulling down. Excellent work guys. Good breathing, scanning your body throughout, big smiles. Excellent, excellent work, guys. We'll pause on this in three, two, one. Way to go, guys. Great work. Next, we're moving to calf raises. This is a real mental workout. There's not a, a ton of weight for us since we're, since we're sitting. Uh, so really, this is a mind um, movement where we're bringing our mind to our calves and flexing those calves, uh, engaging those calf muscles as we're doing this movement. And we push up onto our toes. We're doing those both at the same time, and we are ready to begin that in three, two, one. So just good squeeze up to onto our toes. You're not coming off your chest or anything. This is all in those calf muscles, okay? That's the lower leg. That's where we jump from. That's crucial for our walking. So I mentioned heart health as being uh, connected to this uh, last set, but for walking, for balance, it helps your ankle. Really important muscles down here that we wanna pay attention to. Coming up onto our toes. This is a good movement to take a deep breath in, to remind yourself to smile, do a body scan. How's everything feeling right now? We'll pause on that in three, Two, one. Excellent work, guys. I'm picking back up my little water bottles here for our uh, last set of alternating overhead. And that's finishing our second set of seated Tabata, guys. This is zooming right along. I hope you're doing great out there. I'm feeling great, little sweat going, breath is working up, body's feeling good. We're in a good direction right now. So we'll start arms at the side, alternating overhead press in three, two, one. Excellent guys, we'll pause on that in five, four, three, two, one. Good work guys, excellent work. That's our second set of seated Tabata. So when we were discussing at the, at the start of the class, there was a question on what's the best chair for me? Well, for me, the goal with these workouts is to get you to uh, have your body be able to support you in different environments, have your core, your glutes, your hips be able to support you. So the philosophy of this workout is to move from the sitting to engage the muscles and then to get to the standing, hopefully. But if you need to sit today and do the second half of the workout sitting, that's of course perfectly fine for me. But to transition to that standing movement, we're gonna practice our stand. Getting up, sitting down is something we do all day long, 
but uh, as many of you may know and see, we're pretty sort of uh, bad in it in the modern world. Our, our, our uh, ability to get up and down out of chairs is, is, is one of our struggles and that has to do a lot with our back health, our sitting culture, all sorts of things. That's a lecture for a different day maybe, but we're gonna practice a good sit to stand. So I'm gonna start off on the side just so you can see how I'm moving. Good posture, I'm sitting towards the front of my chair, my core is supporting me. Um, and, uh, and I'm gonna stand from here. So using my glutes, using my butt, using my hips, using my quads, all from the legs, we're gonna do a sit to stand. So this is just to show you me from the side. I don't lean back into the chair, I'm not slumped over and then try to stand. Good posture, using my body to lift me. If you need to uh, use a little push up, that's fine with me. We're gonna take this nice and slow, just for about a minute, we're gonna practice sitting to standing. Take your time, if you need a little breath, you need to sit down here for a minute, that's fine. Trying to make this good quality movement, teaching your body the best way to get into and out of a chair. And that's using your core, using uh, your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, using all that musculature to uh, get into and out of the chair. You guys keep going at your own pace, whatever you could do, take a breath if you, breath if you need it. But just to show you some variety, uh, I know Carl taught me this, just to in introduce some variety, uh, do some wider sit to stand. So legs out to the side. Maybe you normally sit wide. If this is how you're normally sitting, well, let's try to do a little bit more of a narrow sit to stand. So you could always change this movement out. I like to get my hands out front a little bit. It reminds me to stay balanced and to use my legs. But of course, if you need a little bit of the support with your arms as you go down or as you come up, that's fine with me. A few more seconds on this, guys. Take a break if you need it, but we will finish on a stand. So let's call that our last rep on the sit to stand. Finish on a stand. I'm gonna adjust my camera slightly here and we're gonna to move to our standing portion of the workout. So guys, for the standing portion, we'd like to have our chair there, good for balance. Use it as you need it. Progression, adaptability, those are the core philosophies. So good starting position is to be right behind the chair. This is your safety net, this is where you're balancing, that's great. But as you feel more confident, to move a little bit to the side, you just use one hand, maybe you're, you're close enough to it that you could grab it, but you do the movement and eventually we move away from it totally. That's the hope, but remember reading your body, knowing what your body needs. Our standing uh, Tabata today is gonna start with marches. So if you're using this for balance, we're just gonna lift our legs up nice and high. But if you can get away from the chair, we're gonna start just with marches. That's the first movement. I'll add some more cues and guidance uh, when we get there. The next movement is punches. Very simple. Again, I'll talk through more cues, but that's our second movement is just some light punches. Our third movement is going to be a leg curl. Okay, one leg at a time, and we'll alternate legs on that, but it's just gonna be a leg curl. Uh, fourth movement is rows, horizontal rows. Good movement for our water, water bottles, if you have those. And then the last thing we'll do is to work on our balance. On the first set, we'll do our right leg. On the second set, we'll do our left leg. We got two sets of standing tabata, starting with our marches. If you need the balance, we're just marching with our legs. But if you could uh, pull your arms away, this is gonna be great, a great movement. What I'd like to do today is normally I just let you go at your own pace. I'd like you to imagine doing this a little bit more slowly today. Have a more slow, purposeful pace. We'll start in on that in three, two, one. So good march, if you can, a little bit of a slower pace. That's actually gonna make it a lot more difficult and get a lot more muscles involved. If that gets too difficult for you, which it very well may, it may for me, you could do a, a, a faster pace, an easier pace, whatever your body goes naturally at. Getting the knee up nice and high, getting the two uh, halves our, of our body linked together. So our right uh, arm is working with our left leg. 
Again, if you need the chair and you could just be doing your legs here, just a nice leg march. Using the chair for balance as you need it. And we'll pause in three, two, one. 20 seconds of rest guys. Next up is punches. Just light, simple, fluid punches. If you wanna be doing a staggered stance, so I got my left foot a little forward here. That's normally the way boxers do it. If you want a flat stance, that's fine. Um, uh, just a parallel stance, that's fine. If you do the stagger stance, we're gonna switch up the stagger the next time just to keep things balanced, but I'll remind you of that. So boxing, feet, if you want a little stagger, I got my left foot forward, I got my right foot back, arms up, just gentle punches out, nothing too crazy, starting in three, two, one. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Feel this through the shoulders, through the chest, getting the back involved, the triceps, the wrists are sort of turning as the punch goes out. Good movement for the upper body here. And we'll pause on that in three, two, one. Excellent work, guys. Next movement is, the, uh, is a leg curl. So we're gonna alternate sides. So it's gonna be left leg curls up, good 90, 90, 90 degrees at the, at the uh, knee and trying to get 90 at the ankle as well. And we'll just go back and forth. So you'll sort of start to have a little bit of a sway from side to side as we go. Um, I think this is most helpful for you guys. So I'm gonna stay this way. You're facing whatever way is comfortable. Good leg curl, should feel that in the hamstring. And we'll start in three, two, one. So alternating legs. Let me actually turn this way. You get a little more of the white background over there. Okay, just a leg curl. Getting it to where you can. If that's all you could get it to, about halfway through the full motion, that's fine with me. But if you can get it up to 90 degrees and feel a good squeeze in your hamstring, that'll be great. Gentle movements, guys, listening to your body. Where can the movement go to? Breathing and smiling throughout. And we'll pause in three, two, one. Excellent work, guys. That was our leg curl. Next up, we're gonna do horizontal rows. Standing upright, good posture. If you need the balance, you could do one arm at a time and just make sure you uh, switch up the arm on the next set. Uh, but if you're up here with me, Good horizontal row, standing upright, good core, glutes supporting us, core engaged, chest up, and we're rowing horizontally back. Good squeeze in the back. Let's start that together in three, two, one. Okay, so if you've noticed guys, we've sort of been trying to work some pairs today. So in the first set, we did pull downs and overhead press. Those are sort of opposite or antagonist muscle movements. We're doing punches and we're doing rows, working the opposite sides of the body together to keep our body whole, happy, healthy. And we'll pause guys on this in three, two, one. Excellent work. Our last um, exercise for standing Tabata is gonna be balance work. I've talked about balance work a lot. It might seem simple, but what we're gonna try to do is with our, uh, let's start with our left leg. We're gonna try and just get to a good 90, 90 and hold that for our 40 seconds of work. If you need balance, that's good, uh, use it. If you can only get your leg up to here, if that's the most balanced work you can handle today, that's fine. Balance is key as we go about our day. Um, I see so many people walking who are always shuffling. Their feet never pick up off the floor. To get our, our ability to balance on one leg and to improve that will help us in our kitchen, in the supermarket, wherever we go, whatever we do. So let's start with the left leg, trying to get to 90-90, and let's hold that for 40 seconds, guys, if you can. Trying to breathe steadily throughout. This is engaging your core to get your leg up here or again, wherever you could get it to. 
but trying to get to those 90 degree angles at our foot, 90 degrees at our knee. If you really want to make this difficult, the challenge I do to myself sometimes is to close my eyes while I'm doing some balance work. But that's really an advanced movement. I'm certainly not doing that this morning yet. And we'll pause on balance in three, two, one. Good work, guys. One more set of uh, standing Tabata. Grab some water, take a breath. You know the movements. This will be our last real work set. Then we're going into a meditation. So as they say, sort of in rugby and football, when I was being coached, leave it all out on the field. This is definitely the moment if you're looking to really have a good five minutes of work here, put yourself into it, but do what you can as you can, as you know. We'll start in with a slow motion march in three, two, one. So trying to take this even slower if you can. If you're feeling good, the challenge for this more movement this morning is slowness, control. But if that's too much for you, then you could just get it back to our normal pace march. And of course, you could always use the chair for balance. But if you can keep it slow and controlled, that gets my breath working, gets my body shaking. And we'll pause in three, two, one. Excellent, guys. Next up is punches. Uh, good for a water bottle, good for a can if you have it. If you did stagger that stance, I had my left foot forward and my right foot back last time. Let's just switch that up. But if you're just doing a flat stance or you didn't even pay attention to your feet last time, that's fine. Whatever feels good for you. We got punches in three, two, one. Excellent work, guys. Breathing steadily, good posture, big smile. You know the cues. We'll pause on that in three, two, one. Uh, our next movement is leg curls. So just to yeah, give you a little bit of a different angle so you can see, very simple, guys. Squeezing a little bit in the hamstring. Uh, we'll alternate legs so you'll get a little sway back and forth going. Good time to use the chair for balance. We'll start in in three, two, one. And if you're interested just in learning more of the terminology, I mentioned sort of antagonist muscles uh, a moment ago. This pairs up, if you remember, from our seated uh, leg extension. So that's the quad up front hamstring and back, those are opposite muscles. They sort of work push and pull. So we we'll have a good full body rounded uh, workout this morning. And we'll keep going and pause in three, two, one. Excellent guys. We got two more movements. We got uh, horizontal rows here. If you're feeling strong today and can get a little bend over and do more of a bent over row, that's a good uh, way to make this a little bit more challenging. But for me, I'm sticking upright, good posture, horizontal row in three, two, one. Good, and we'll pause right there, guys. A little bit more balance work, working our right leg this time. We had our left leg going last time, right leg this time, up in the air, wherever you could get it. If it's just off the ground this morning, 
that's fine. But if you're looking for the full experience, you could obviously be right behind the chair and just lift your leg up. That's fine. Use the support as you need it. But if you're looking for the most difficult sort of version, 90-90, hold for 40 seconds. Let's start in on that in three, two, one. Oop, I almost lost it there for a moment. We always need to train our balance. Holding up here for 40 guys, if you can. And then we're moving into our meditation. I'm really excited to share this with you. What I'm gonna share with you in a few moments. It's been a technique that's been very helpful for me in my life. We'll pause in three, two, one. Excellent work, guys. That's our workout. Our body should hopefully be feeling energized now, primed, we're ready to go. And that's a great time to turn to our meditation. So I invite you to sit back down, get into a comfortable position. Uh, some of the same cues apply here, guys, as through the workout. Mindfulness, what's going on in my body? What's going on in my heart? What's going on in my mind? Good posture, good breathing, uh, big smile. This should be a space of joy and comfort and gentleness and compassion, not a space of judgment, anger, envy, jealousy, this meditation, this workout. And so if you've been with me before and been with Carl, I know we like to introduce you to a lot of basic breathing techniques. That's really, I would say, meditation sort of 101 across all cultures and traditions. Every great tradition, culture, philosophy, whatever, has some good breathing techniques that I find, and I've learned a lot from all of those. But there are other versions of meditation. Last time, if you were with me, I think it was the last time I was with you, we sort of read a poem and grabbed a word. That's a mantra meditation, focusing on a word or a phrase that you carry sort of as your guide or your anchor. Another good form of meditation contemplation is something of a review, a daily review. Benjamin Franklin, I always remember being impressed by this in high school. We read one of his documents or something and it had his daily schedule. He would meditate, he would uh, review his day, I think for something like an hour at the end of every day. He would just look back over what happened today. I was uh, interested in entering um, a religious community. Uh, that's what I spent a year doing last year. It was a really beautiful experience. Twice a day, we would do a 15 minute review of what happened so far in that day. Search our heart, search our mind, what's been happening. This was incredibly helpful for me when I was a high school teacher. High school teaching was filled with interactions, kids, papers, due dates, this, that, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, I barely knew what had happened. So I'm gonna give you a little basic structure. You see it at the top, I posted it in the group chat, a basic structure for how to do something of a daily review. It's about 10 to 15 minutes, basic structure uh, to look at your day and to figure out what happened and how am I moving forward to tomorrow. So the basic structure is, to relax, first of all, to start off with some breathing, to welcome light and warmth and joy into your heart. The next is a simple moment of gratitude. We're gonna look at the last day, the last 24 hours. We could focus on yesterday, whatever's comfortable for you. A uh, little moment of gratitude. I'll explain more as we go. The third is highs. What were the highs of your day? What made you feel loving and joyful and mo most yourself? What were the lows of your day? What brought you down into anger, jealousy, fear, uh, worry, anxiety, what were the lows of your day? And then how do you resolve to move forward? Simple steps, apply it to your day as you like, but taking 10 to 15 minutes to practice this um, will hopefully do a lot for you. It's not a lot for me, something to try. If it's not working for you, you could certainly always do breathing meditation, just focus on your breath and you could mute me even if you want. But if you're interested in this practice, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start settling down good posture, hands can be resting uh, gently in our lap or on our knees. We wanna be sitting upright and alert. And the first step of this practice is just to relax, to get to a space of rest and gentleness. And you can breathe in deeply through your nose. Allow your stomach to expand on the in-breath. Hold that breath for a moment and breathe calmly out of your mouth.
Breathing in peace, calm, and light. Breathing out fear, worry, and anger. So if you're enjoying some breathing meditation this morning, certainly feel free to stick with that if that's what your heart needs. But if you're interested in this practice, that was step one is relaxation. And now I'm gonna ask you a few questions about what your yesterday was like. What were the last 24 hours or, or the day yesterday? What was that like for you? And as I go through these questions, I just want you to view the moments that come to mind. Whatever comes to mind is right and natural. Watch them like a movie. Just look at that situation yesterday. And how did that situation bring you to the kinds of moods, the questions I ask you evoke? And just look at them. No judgment, no, um, yeah, no judgment, no anger, no hostility towards yourself. Gentleness and compassion towards what your day was like. And so thinking over our day yesterday, I'd like you to think of one moment of gratitude that comes to mind. One moment that just makes you grateful. Maybe your cup of coffee tasted extra good yesterday morning. Maybe a clerk in a store was a little bit kinder to you or nicer or more generous. Anything really, something you're grateful for. And just sit with that mood and that moment for a few seconds in your heart. Look at it like it's a movie. Bring yourself back to that moment. What about it makes you grateful? Why is that a special moment for you? Continuing to breathe in deeply. And exhale slowly out of your mouth. Now thinking over the course of your day yesterday, all the little moments, all the transitions, the tiny moments that are easy to forget, thinking of all of those, what were your highs yesterday? And I don't mean that in a uh, trivial sense of, oh, I had a really good tasting donut or something, that might be a high. Maybe that's, that's your good moment of the day. But what were the moments that made you more loving, generous, compassionate, joyful? Bring those moments to mind. And again, don't judge, with, don't judge them. Just sit with them, look at them. Why were you loving and joyful at that moment? She wants the Sonia said uh, wants you to sorry, someone's unmuted just to let you know. Yeah, I took care of it. Thanks, Mike. Uh, and continuing on with our, our meditation friends, the next step is lows. Now this is really important to not be judgmental. But what were the moments that brought you yesterday into fear? into worry, into anxiety, into envy. No judgment, it's okay, it happens to us, we're all human. But just noticing why that moment took you out of yourself, took you away from the person you want to be, the person you hope to be. Look at it with love and compassion, but just notice that moment and how it worked on you.
Wonderful, my friends. And then the fifth step is some sort of resolution, resolve. With all that in mind that we've looked at, the moments you're grateful for, the moments that helped you to feel most yourself, the moments where you didn't quite feel yourself, what do you need for tomorrow? What's the resolution? What's the hope for the next day? Again, this is not judgment. This is not a, I have to bench press 300 pounds tomorrow, but I hope that worry doesn't overtake my heart at this moment. I hope that I'm not as prey to anger at this moment, just to hope for the next day. My friends, we're coming to uh, a close here. So just to summarize, it's a very simple structure. You can mix and match the different pieces, use what's uh, helpful for you, but taking 15, 10 minutes at the end of a day to look at our day with love and compassion has been really helpful to me. Uh, and so my five-step process that I got from my experience last year is to relax, to uh, think a moment of gratitude, to think of the high moments of your day, the low moments of your day, and then to think about how you want to be tomorrow, who you want to be tomorrow. So just as a quick personal example, I've been uh, swimming in the ocean every day. I know it seems crazy, but I started to try it and it's brought me a lot of joy and um, excites me and it has been a change I've needed in my life. I was sort of in a little bit of a funk. So I'm really grateful for that moment. And I had a, a friend join me for the jump yesterday. And that's been really fun and, and beautiful. And we were able to do it at a distance. So that was that was lovely. Also yesterday, my low moments were a few people were changing plans on me. Uh, Coach Carl, I love him. He's one of my good friends. He came in and said, oh, can you do the class tomorrow? And we'll, we'll, we'll swap and stuff like that it was fine. But a few other people were changing plans, moving things around. I got worried. I got anxious. I, I like to know my schedule and my to-do list. And at night, I was just noticed I was an angrier person. And I was a little short with, uh, I live with my mom now. I was a little short with her and got out of sorts. And I was just worried and anxious. So I just noticed that. I didn't judge it. It's okay happens. Those, those, are the, those are our motions and our movements, but I just noticed it. And so my hope today is to not be as subject to that anxiety, as subject to a sense of I need to know the plans and the order and the structure of things to go with the flow a little bit more today. So I was doing that along with you. That was my experience. Five little steps. Uh, if you're looking for a new contemplative or meditative technique, good way to review your day and have a sense of optimism uh, is what it gives me about my day, a hopefulness. So Thank you all as always. Um, you could reach out. I'll drop my uh, email in the in the chat in a moment. Wonderful being with you this morning. Thank you to Sally, Sally and Z as always. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Hi, everyone. This is Z from Yonkers Public Library. Thanks so much to Sally Pinto and Alexis and Barbara from Nork. Thank you to our community partners, WJCS, the City of Yonkers Office for the Aging, Westchester County Legislator Ruth Walter, Friends of Crestwood Library, and Yonkers Public Library for making this phenomenal partnership. And we thank each and every one of you for being part of our wellness community. Be well, stay well.